I don't know why. Well, I, I, maybe I do know why, a lack of options. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why. Or a lack of options that they feel they have. Get fixated on one girl. Guys, you have to date multiple women at a time. Until somebody's exclusively yours. Until y'all have that exclusivity, talk. I encourage you guys to date multiple women. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. He said something that I've been saying on this channel since I started the channel that none of these guys have ever said. In fact, if you look at my channel, you're going to see I did a video early on, like my fourth, fifth video, talking about uh, polygyny. I talked about options. I'm talking about never let a woman, ha you know, have exclusive access to you. These are all videos I've done in the past. People are watching these videos. More people are watching them than you can tell from the front end, from what, you, from what you're seeing. Because I could look at it on the back end. These people are looking at my videos, people. Because these brothers have never talked about, they have never talked about not being exclusive, right? Or, 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 or dating multiple women. How a woman don't owe you anything. How she can do whatever she want to do. She don't owe you anything. That's never been their perspective. They've always been like, she owes you something from the day y'all meet. She's supposed to just be a certain way with you off top. That's always been their rhetoric. Now it's the realization that, hey man, until y'all have this exclusivity talk, she can date and sleep with as many guys as she want to, and you should do the same. He's sounding like me, but that's not, that, that's not how that go. That's not how that go. The thing is, there is no exclusivity at all. There's no need to have the exclusivity talk because exclusivity is given. I can tell you that I'm not gonna sleep with no other woman all I want to, and I can bang a thousand women. The mouth can say anything, but what you give a person is what you give to that person. There is no need to have this talk. If a man meets a woman and he decides this is it for me, I don't wanna deal with no other woman, I'm just gonna deal with this woman, that is his right. That don't mean the woman has to reciprocate that. And vice versa. If a woman meets a man and she said, okay, I'm going to roll with this dude. I don't want to mess with no other dudes. It's just going to be me. You know, this dude is my man. This is it for me. That's fine. But that man don't have to reciprocate that. You see, there is no exclusivity other than what's given. There is no need to have that talk. Because the talk don't mean nothing. The marriage license don't mean nothing. The vows don't mean nothing. The fear of divorce court don't mean nothing. None of this stuff means anything because the truth of the matter is we are going to do what we feel like doing from within. So when you're an elevated man and you really understand, you understand that there is no such thing as an exclusivity talk. There is just exclusivity given. That's it. And when you, when you got to look at it from the other end, the person that you're giving this to doesn't have to give you the same. We are never going to be giving the same in a relationship. I already talked about that too. No two people are going to feel exactly the same about each other. And again, this coming from a dude who loves his wife. I love the way my wife look. I mean, my, my wife in her 60s, man, she had on jeans yesterday, man, looking fine as hell, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at that, man, this old girl got a body, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I look at my wife right now, I'll be like, man, if she wasn't my wife, I'll shoot her on her, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll go at her like, hey, babe, what's your name? You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she, my, my wife looks good. So you're talking about a dude that actually is satisfied and content with his wife. She's my best friend. She's my companion. She's my love, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I love my wife, you know what I'm saying? But I can guarantee if there was some way to measure this, it still won't be the same because we, me and her approach things differently. She, she's really, uh, 
she's really a submissive, you know, uh, passive type woman. I'm, I'm more of an aggressive, you know what I'm saying, type dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm not highly emotional. I don't do a lot of expressions of things, you know. It's not, I don't be all hugging up, you know, I, I'm, I'm not that kind of dude, you know what I'm saying? So I express things differently, but so if you had to measure it, I'm sure it would look like, you know, it's not the same because we just don't, we don't approach the relationship the same. No two people is going to approach the relationship the same. And until that, that love for each other grows over time, it, 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 listen, it's going to balance out, but it takes years to balance out. For the first 10 years, one of them is going to be actually holding that relationship together more than the other. That's just the fact of the matter. So once you start talking about exclusivity, that is a myth. That is given. It's not a talk. See, that's your alpha male strategy. He's wrong. It's not a talk, right? It's not a vow. It's not a license. It's not a promise. It's none of that. Because none of that matters. Exclusivity is given to the other person. It can't be demanded by a person. It is given to a person. And when you give it, that doesn't mean that you got to expect it in return. The other person don't owe you that. We got to elevate our understanding of life, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, but mankind is really at a dark place right now. Y'all are holding on to a way of living that just don't work. Y'all holding on to this system, man. It's really time to let this thing go. It's time to let it go, bro. It's time for the world to move on, man. Like, 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 like the, guns, the, the Gunslinger series, man. It's time to let the world move on, you know? It's time to let it go. We are holding on to this thing. And what we're doing is we're pulling mankind and the entire planet down. This stuff is not working. Everything about it goes against human nature. I just did a talk, I don't know in which order I post these, but I just did a thing talking about Willie D. He called himself checking Akon for supporting Nick Cannon and having multiple families, you know. Man, go sit down somewhere with Willie D with that, bro. Talking about this ruins the nuclear family. You know, we need a strong nuclear family so we can... There's no such thing as a nuclear family, bro. It's no such thing, man. These are all systemic terms. These are all systemic beliefs. All you have is people choosing to travel together. That's all you have. And once y'all start getting back to that, where it's a choice and not an expectation, where it's a choice and not a demand, where it's something that's given and not something that's required, then we start moving forward. Now, the things that you should require out of somebody traveling with you, you don't require that. You should require honesty. You should require loyalty. And I don't mean loyalty in the sense y'all think about it. I'm talking about don't cut my throat. I'm talking about if I tell you something that's important to us, you're not going behind my back and telling to Joe Blow so he can use it against me. I'm talking about having some kind of loyalty. If you're with me, you're with me. I don't own your body. I don't, you know, I, 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 I need your, I need your mind. I, I, I need your soul, your spirit. I don't need your body. Your body is yours. I just seen Michael Jai White. He said, man, your body is the only thing you actually own. So that means you don't own a woman's body, but she can give you her mind. She can give you her soul. She can give you her spirit. Y'all can intertwine these together. Y'all can merge these, but the body can't be merged. That's hers. What y'all want is control over women's body. And that's a problem. What women want when y'all when they get married, they want control over man's body. I don't know if they really want to control over man's body, because they don't think like it's what do they want? They just want possession over you or, or I, I don't know. Cause it's not really a sexual thing exclusive with women and they think like that. I don't know. I really don't know what their their, their, their motivation is behind it. But I do know dudes seem to think that it's about the woman's body. You don't own the woman's body. So alpha male strategies is wrong about that. You see? You see, see how I kicked that down? See how I broke that down? Real simple, he's just wrong. Now I know what he say is what y'all wanna hear. I get that. But the truth of the matter is, man, you just don't have that power over another human being. Exclu whatever exclusivity another human being gives you, they give that to you. 
You can demand it all you want, but they don't have to honor it. You can require it all you want. They don't have to honor it. Because that's their body. And, 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 and we got physical needs. You know, I, I wanted to do a video. I just never did it because y'all ain't ready for it. I wanted to do a video talking about you got a freak or the keeper. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think a lot of these dudes understand the importance of beating it down. You know what I'm saying? Tearing it down. That woman got to be, you, you, you got to, hey man, you got to beat it up, bro. You got to beat it up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be playing, man, you know what I'm saying? But there's a reason why so many marriages end up in, 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 in swingers and sharing and, you know, that there's a reason why they go through these stages because at a certain point, you know, you, you start looking for something to spark it again. You know, you start looking for that spark because the spark is gone. I'm not gonna get into that right now. See, that's my point. That That's my point. I, I really wanna bring y'all to, to higher levels of understanding of relationships, but I, I, I know y'all y'all just, y'all just don't, y'all can't hear that right now. We still talking about monogamy. <laughs> y'all don't understand. We still talking about traditional marriage. When truth be told, you'll find very few successful marriages that are traditional. Very few of them. Very few, very few successful marriages operate the way y'all think they do. Very few. And I mean, I don't care if they Christian conservatives to, to, to hippie liberals. Very few successful relationships operate the way y'all think they do. Because when y'all think about conservatives, I just mentioned that swinging and stuff. Y'all think, well, them conservatives never do it. Woo, yes, they do. Yes, they do. You have a lot of Trump voting, um, uh, Mitt Romney voting, McCain voting, you know what I'm saying? Long time GOP members, you know, you have a lot of them into those lifestyles. You know why? Because they still human. They still go through the same emotion. They go through the same highs and lows, you know, physically that we all go through. And they look for this thing and they, they search out ways to to uh, uh, remedy what, they, what they're going through. They, they, they try things. And that's one of the things that they end up trying. I ain't saying every single family end up trying that stuff. Most people just cheat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But most people that are more together, they try to figure out something together. And that's why I say most successful marriages are not what y'all would call traditional. And I'm not saying every successful marriage do that either. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, cause we, 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 we don't, we not swingers, you know what I'm saying? But we got our own way uh, 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 of keeping our stuff fresh. That don't require the set swing, but I'm, I'm not prudy. You know what I'm saying? Even at my wife's age, she still got a nice body. I, I, I buy sexy gear for her to put on. We go to a, a spot for adults. You know what I'm saying? I get the clothes for her to put on and she feels good doing it. It works. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a, a, a little flirtatious energy from 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 elsewhere. It it, it look it, it, it works. A, a woman flirting with me a little bit, it works. A, woman, a man flirting with her a little bit, it works. But I'm gonna stop there because, again, these are elevated conversations. Y'all just not ready for that. So I'm gonna just back it on up. I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna just keep it simple. Mashed up peas, mashed up bananas. You know what I'm saying? Baby food. I'm gonna keep it the baby food right now for you. So what Alpha Male Strategy said was part correct. Like I said, they listening to me. I've been the only dude talking about you know what I'm saying this the the, the 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 myth of exclusivity or the importance of not letting a woman have exclusive access to you. I I recommend that every man date multiple women. I've been saying that since I've been on this channel. Every man should date multiple women. I don't care what that woman give me, how much exclusivity she's giving you, you should have boot, as many women as you can date, you should be dating it. Because it takes time to find that woman that's gonna ride with you until the wheels come off. It takes time. Time gotta prove that. Time proves that. I had a polygynous family for eight years. That's longer than most of y'all single marriages have lasted. Think about that. I had a multiple family marriage. Three women on the inside, like I said, depends on the time period, it was four, it was four total, but as one came in, one went out, right? So we're gonna just say three. Three women on the inside and about four or five on the second level. 
that were all jockeying to become inside women. So I had seven, eight, nine women that I was dealing with openly for eight years. Now the second level women didn't stay around for eight whole years. Every woman I deal with kind of, we stay friends, but the second level, they changed a lot, right? I'm gonna just say that they changed a lot. But the women on the inside, eight years, and even at four women, you know, she would come to visit. And whenever she came back in town, I, I, look, I was smashing her right along with other things. She was coming around, she was hanging with us. So it was four, you know what I'm saying? But it just wasn't, wasn't a constant four because she was living out of state. But I had three women in an open polygynous family for eight years. That's longer than most of y'all have y'all single relationships. Y'all don't have a marriage that long. Y'all don't have a girlfriend that long. And I had three wives for eight years. And the wife that's with me now was one of them. And now we in year 26. She was one of them. So it takes time for that stuff to work itself out. Suppose, and I always say this here, you know, y'all not hear me. If I was like Alpha Male Strategy, I'd have took his advice and I'd have had this exclusive talk with one of these other women that's no longer here. I would have never even been able to meet the wife that I have now. Me and this lady would have never met because I'd have, I, would, I would have agreed to monogamy or exclusivity and I would have been obligated to honor that and I wouldn't have been able to even meet her, the woman who turned out to be the best thing I've ever met in life. The best person I've ever met. I would have never met her had I listened to his advice. But if you listen to my advice, you'll meet such a woman. I'm telling you, date as many women as you can date. As many as you can date. I don't care who gets mad about it. If they mad, let them walk. You deal with the ones that are there. Because if a woman want you, she's going to be with you. Trust me. If she want you, she's going to be there. If she, if, if she want you based on contingencies and, and or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You see, it's supposed to be unconditional. If she wants you conditionally, she don't want you. Let her go. You deal with the ones there because the ones that deal with you unconditionally, they're the ones that's gonna stick with you because they because you are just what they want. And that's it. If you wanna then choose between those two or three, somewhere down the line, which one won't be wise, because you should never choose. I mean, if it's been working all that time, you shouldn't choose. But if you decide you wanna choose, I wanna go monogamous, choose one of them, you know what I'm saying? All I got two that's been rolling tight with me seven, eight, nine years in, you know what I'm saying? Me 10 years in, both of them still rolling. So now let me pick one. If you wanna do that, that's on you, I would advise don't even do that. You make it that far, you keep going. Because you never know when you're gonna wake up one day and another one decide to leave. But trust me on this one. Nine times out of 10, the last one there is gonna be the one that really wanna be there. Because the last one going, the last one there is gonna be the one that told herself the whole time, this is where I wanna be and I ain't going nowhere. Cause that's what my wife says. She, my wife tells me all the time, like when we talk about this, she tells me what's going through her head. In her mind, she was like, you know what? This is it for me. I, I, I want to be with this man. I, I like his style. I like everything about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ride this thing out. You know, he was honest about how he lived. He didn't lie. He put the cards up. He gave me a choice. He gave me the option to walk away or deal with it. I chose to deal with it. I'm a grown woman. So I'm going to ride this thing out. And that's what she did. And she's still here. And we don't have an end in sight. I can tell you now, me and this woman going to die together. Because I let a natural process take place. The way alpha male strategies is telling you to do things, that is not a natural process. There is no exclusivity talk, bro. He's wrong about that. You can talk all you want. Talk don't mean nothing. People break their marriage vows. <laughs> People violate their marriage license. You think they're worrying about talk? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Divorce court full of people that promise not to be with nobody else. That promise exclusivity. Full of it. In fact, cheating is so normal that infidelity is not even the main reason for divorce. Y'all don't even know that. It's not even the top five. Now, I know it depends on which breakdown you see. Some of them lies, like it's a feminist breakdown. They're going to talk about infidelity in there. But if you do real research, you'll find out that infidelity is not even in the top five. 
It's not. Boredom, you know, uh, uh, you know, finances, you know, like hard times, boredom, you know, possessive drug problems, you know, a lot of things happen before infidelity becomes an issue because infidelity by human nature, we all know that that's not that big of a deal. Now, I know y'all mad. Oh, what you mean not that big of a deal? It's not that big of a deal. You'd be surprised at how many men forgive women for cheating, how many women, for, women forgive men for cheating. You will be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Infidelity is not even the top five. Not even close. And if, and if you do a percentage, it, it's way down the line. It's way down the line. It's not even that important. So if infidelity is not even in the top five, then it tells you that, the, that, that this talk of exclusivity means nothing. Because what are you talking about when you say exclusive? Are you talking about bodies? Are you talking about mind? See, that needs to be expressed. What are we talking about? We going we traveling together, man. We traveling together. There's no need for exclusivity because we we doing it together. So the only thing you could be talking about when you have this exclusive talk is body, and your body is the only thing you own. I'm gonna end with this. This real talk, man. Y'all, one of these days, I'm gonna bring my wife, my exes on with my wife. When I get to a point where I can actually do this stuff right. I'm gonna actually do a reunion panel and I'm gonna have these women in there together with my wife and we're gonna talk about the things that I told them. One of the things I told the women way back in the days is this. I can't promise you me because I don't own me. My life belongs to Allah. My existence belongs to Allah. I can't promise you me that I'm gonna be yours because I can't give you me I can't do that I can't give you me because the parts of me I can't give you I don't want to give you which is my body physically I don't want you I don't want nobody owning my body and you'll never own my mind so what can I give you exclusively nothing what can she give me exclusively nothing but if we choose to travel together and let our minds become one, there's no exclusivity in that because we're traveling together. We, we one. There's no exclusivity. It's just one now. But the bodies are never going to be one. The physical is never going to be one. And I think you dudes don't, y'all just don't understand it yet. So anyway, Alpha Male Strategy was wrong about that one. The exclusivity talk is a myth. There is no exclusivity talk. That don't work, that don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? And a man should date as many women as he won't, and a woman should date as many men as she won't until she reaches that point where she gets the man she wants. When she finds the man she wants, she drops off the other men and pursue her man. That's what she does. And if over time, the women drop off and he's just there with you, then you got your one-on-one. -on -one. But if he always got one or two that just won't go nowhere, then that just is what it is. But a man should date as, and marry as many women as he can deal with. All men should do that. Polygyny is the only answer, man. It's the only way to keep this stuff in check. If these women did not have exclusive, in fact, my video talked about exclusive access. Y'all gotta listen to Brother Kush, man. Y'all gotta listen to me, bro. I already addressed this in the old video. Never give a woman exclusive access to you. The thumbnail, look at the thumbnail right here. Scroll through my channel, look for this video. You never give a woman exclusive access to you. You never do it. I've already talked about polygyny. Look at the thumbnails. I've already talked about polygyny. I've already talked, you know, I've already addressed these things, people. I've been doing this since I started the channel. These dudes that heard, heard about my stuff and now they are start to think about, oh, he right, you know what I'm saying? Now they start to talk different. Nah, but it don't work that way. I ain't letting y'all steal me. I ain't gonna let y'all take what I say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Run with it, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't understand this from experience. Remember that old saying, man. Memory is the mother of all wisdom. These dudes are just talking. I am recalling actions and activities. I am recalling experiences. What I talk to you about is from memory. What they talk to you about is from rhetoric. Different things. That's why I am the Black Alpha.
Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. So long.